Hello, welcome to dot programming dot blogspot dot com. This is my blog, and uh, I want to show you a simple project in ASP dot net code. So let's to start new project. Oops. Dot uh, net core ASP dot net core application dot net core. So uh, actually, I'm doing online voting system. So mm, so polling system project and uh, click to ok button web application empty project and uh, asp.net core 1.1 yes web application actually change authentications from individual user and click to ok pooling system project <coughs> So this is the default uh, folder exist in ASP.NET Core. You know very well about uh, uh, these folders. Uh, so the first thing to learn in ASP.NET for designing a database actually. So first to create a database table. So in the model section, go to the model section and. Uh, also create some areas also so in project we have two areas first one is admin and second one is users so add a new folder that is area or you can say infrastructures areas have two areas actually add a new folder first is admin and second one is user okay So in the admin section, add a new controller and uh, two uh, folders there, model view and controller, so also models and there is no need to uh, separate model in the area the database is same for all the users as well as the admin so use it here controller controllers and also a new folder that is views okay similarly in the user section add two folder that is controllers and another folder that is views okay so in area is finishing and in model section also we have a data section application db context you can check it application db context is identity db context and application user is also there so uh, go to the application user go to definition a application user is there and also you can find the application user in the modal section that is in application user you can define your registration fields here because this uh, application user is inherited from the identity user so in this project i will use and you can say I have to use identity servers. So must to define your uh, properties, uh, other properties uh, like the voter ID. So prop string 
voter id prop string voter name because username and email is also exist in the identity user class so you can check it go to definition yeah identity user class yeah is there email is also there and uh, username is also there for the string type property mobile number is also there so uh, there is mobile number confirmation so mobile number is there for the string type of property so no need to uh, use email username and the phone number so use voter id voter name and address public string address Oops. use props and input voter id okay so oops what id is not the address if you want to use uh, data notation here you can use it data notations but is there is no need uh, if you want to use data notation required and required data notation is there in system dot uh, using system dot component model dot data notations so copy this and paste it here and then paste it here so email username and phone number is also uh, there and all are uniquely identified also so you cannot put another email in the email so extra field must to define in the class application user okay so uh, go to the uh, registration page after doing this you know we have a registration page is also available in account view model that is the register view model you can check it in which we have email password confirm password mobile number is not there you can put the mobile number also and that register model is only represent a class it's not exist in the physical entity actually okay manage view models and account view models okay you can put your uh, other field also in the class copy and paste voter id required required voter voter name and address is also required okay so in the register view model is finish and come to the view part because a default view section is there home account section in the register class there is in the register class we have a email password and confirm password but i want to uh, show also voter id voter name and uh,
so copy in the email section form group actually copy this form group copy and in the about section you can check your uh, register view model actually model is inherited from register view model class so there is no need to add extra list here enable email replace with voter id application user is voter id is mandatory so asp.net is refer for the uh, ASP4 is voter ID validation for voter ID. Okay. Now come to the sections. Again, copy this form group and paste this here and paste this here. Voter name Voter name Voter name Ok Now again Form group is copy And paste For the you can also use uh, the gender but uh, we can not use water name replace with your address 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 Okay. Now address field is just after your password confirmation. Control V section. Okay. Now when we uh, click on the submit button, actually that form is called ASP controller account and ASP action is registration. Now come to the uh, post method. ASP controller is account in the account section in the controller section go to the account controller and registration registration control V string URL return and view model is there register view model and view model username model dot email email equals to model dot email now in which we have three fields is also there like water id so water id equals to model view model is also hold three property so model dot water id okay and uh, water name equals to model dot water name and last is address equals to model dot address and all are so user user model is created asynchronously and user is creator sign in now the first step is clear you can run your project before adding must to use migration so first to add migration backends manager console and migration my first migration and 
update database yeah database is update and your migration is my first migration class is there in which you can add voter name voter address and voter id in the enter now run your project when we click on the register button when we click on the register button the default voter id voter id oops this who is there voter id voter id voter name email password confirm password is also there so in the view section account view section register actually two voter id is there voter id and voter id so remove one form group and again Boolean system project run this because when we run in con with the console in the quickly loaded your project registration voter id is v123 voter name is tharun email is in kumar 8 5 1 password is this is and address is what number 12 and registration yeah narin kumar 851 is there okay so let's to start online polling system polling system project thank you very much for watching this video keep watching my other videos